Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be taking the Fab Four book tag. So this is ideal for me because I'm a big Beatles fan. Um, I was tagged by Al from Big Hard Books and Classics. This was created by Tom L.A. Books. Both of their uh, videos are linked to below. There are ten questions, and then I'm going to tag some people at the end. So without further ado, let's get started. Dane reads. Question one. I just fell out of bed, found out what key I had dreamed it in, and I played it. So that's Paul McCartney talking about yesterday. A book that you dreamed about or that inspired one of your dreams. Um, okay, well, I guess quite a few of my own books. Uh, no Rest for the Wicked by myself, Dane Cobain, and also Come On Up to the House. Um, both of those are basically dreams that I had that I then fleshed out the plots for and turned into, into books. So it kind of happened the other way around. It didn't inspire one of my dreams and it's not a book I dreamed about. I dreamt it and then turned it into a book, but I still think it counts. Question number two, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, John Lennon. A book that talks about drugs or that, or that was written under the influence of drugs. I mean, half of my collection. But I am gonna go for the Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test. It's by Tom Wolfe and about Ken Casey, my bad. Um, so Ken Casey wrote One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Basically he had this big van and they were just knocking around the country doing lots of drugs. And this is Tom Wolfe writing about that. Um, it came to mind because it's the most recent drug book that I have read. We thought we'd be really big in Liverpool, Ringo Starr. A book about someone who had far more success than what they expected, or a book that was much more successful than what the author expected. Anne Frank's Diary by Anne Frank, because um, obviously she just kept that as a journal, um, having no idea it would sell however mi many million copies it's sold now, and with good reason. It's, uh, I mean, it's a harrowing read when you know what happened to it, but um, very much one that should still be on the curriculum, you know? Question number four. Sitting on a cornflake, waiting for the van to come. John Lennon. A surreal book, or a book with some surreal elements that you enjoyed? Oh, God. Um, I don't know what comes to mind. What was the most surreal book that I've read recently? I don't know. I actually can't think of that many surreal books that I've read recently. The one that's just popped into my head was uh, Alice in Wonderland by C.S. Lewis. Because, um, you know, cracking stuff. Question number five, The White Album. A book you loved that A, has a minimalist cover, or B, is written in a minimalist style. Um, hmm, probably Stoner by John Williams. Um, the cover that I had for that, it was literally just, it was like this beautiful hardback, but it just had the name, and it was in grey. <laughs> Question number six, Little Darling. Oh, let's do the song. Little darling, it's been a long and lonely winter. Got the words wrong. Here comes the sun, beanie beanie, George Harrison. I wonder if this video will get demonetized. A book of poetry that you found uplifting. I mean, I don't really, I don't read uplifting poetry. That's a struggle. I can name plenty of like dark and morbid poetry books. Something that I found uplifting. I guess like, I don't know, some of Spike Milligan's poetry. Small Dreams of a Scorpion, I think was the title of one of them. That's that's just what comes to mind, you know? Question number seven, A Day in the Life. An experimental book that's very uncommon for its content or format, and yet it works well. Hmm. Oh, um, fucking what's it called? Oh, uh, A Humument by Tom Phillips. Um, it's actually a human document and it's basically blackout poetry. This guy took a Victorian novel and turned the entire thing into a blackout poem, but like every page is like a painting, it's beautiful. Uh, quite expensive though, by its very nature, I guess. Question number eight. Over half of Americans who are 45 and older attribute the Beatles split to Yoko Ono. Yeah, but I mean, how, hey Google, how many Americans have insurance against UFO abduction? Okay, I can't find the fact, the stat, but I have seen it at some point before. But yes, okay, 49% um, of Americans believe there are people somewhat like ourselves living on other planets. So, that's, that's more than that. Anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. A book about a woman, or if you can't think of one, a man, who is unjustly blamed or accused of something. Well, this is the book I'm reading at the moment. Uh, Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. Although, was she unjustly accused? That's one reading of it. You can read it in multiple different ways. Question number nine. 
Limit, li oh, okay. Limitless undying love which shines around me like a million suns and calls me on and on across the universe. Jai Guru Deva Om. Nothing's good. Anyway, John Lennon. A book that opened your mind and made you think of the universe in a new way, either physically or spiritually. Well, I'm not a very spiritual person. Um, so I guess um, just Stephen Hawking, uh, A Brief History of Time, because I remember him talking about a shape that can rotate 360 degrees and isn't the same shape. But if you rotate it 360 degrees twice, it is the same shape. And that blew my mind. Question number 10. Um, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be, dun dun dun, Paul McCartney. A book that you found very powerful and moving, despite its apparent simplicity. Oh, a lot of the poetry, anything like Charles Bukowski, maybe like Ham on Rye by Charles Bukowski, in terms of the simplicity of its language. Um, yeah, very good read, very, very powerful and moving. All right, Yuru, so that is the Fab Four tag. I'm just doing my usual, I'm going into my channel comments and I'm gonna select, I don't know, let's say six people who have recently commented on my videos and I'm gonna tag them to do this tag as well. Uh, of course, if you wanna do it yourself and I don't tag you, feel free to do it. Um, and if I tag you and you don't wanna do it, feel free to not do it. My internet is going fucking slow, mate. Let's see what we can do. Turn off my, f my 4G. All right, I am gonna tag Jeremy Fee, um, Jonathan Rossignol. Does he do BookTube? I think he does. I think I've checked, I feel like I've checked out his channel. I might be wrong. Well, I can't see on my phone. Regina's Haunted Library. Um, Mr. Morningstar, Steph's Literary Cafe. P English Literature, Joel Swagman, and we'll do one book, one review, and one more actually, one more for luck. Sadie Reads Again. So there you have it, that was the Fab Four book tag. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit a like button, the like button, if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.